Aloha, good morning, welcome to Kaus Kona, this Monday morning, beginning of the work week. <clears throat> As you know, last week I was out, uh, just sick um, from just the weather, and I uh, just want to thank you guys for you guys' prayers and encouragement, uh, but today I head back to work um, uh, and start a new week. I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend, a blessed weekend, and uh, like I said last week, I've just been laying low um, and just been taking care of myself, and um, I feel much, much better uh, this morning, so thank you for that. <clears throat> this morning, I, I really just wanted to talk about, um, you know, the number two things that we can do, you know, two things that we can do to really stay close to God and, and hear from Him is, number one, read His Word, and number two is prayer <clears throat> on our own. Both we can do on our own, both we can do anytime, uh, and sometimes it's it's really hard to do, especially if you're in um, circumstances that you can't control, and God tells us to uh, the passage that we're going to look at is is to pray always, um, to always seek Him. And sometimes, whatever it may be, it may be relationships, um, financial, illness, jobs, um, you know, the list goes on and on, um, that sometimes we forget that. Uh, we try to do things on our own, or we try to find ways that we can correct things ourselves. Um, yeah, God tells us to to be smart about stuff, um, to seek His wisdom, you know, not to just lay back on the couch or and not do anything. But um, for sure, the first and second most important things we can do is seek Him in prayer and read His Word, see what He says in His Word. That's where we get our wisdom from. Um, <clears throat> but sometimes when we get to down or we get too caught up in stuff that we tend to put God on the back burner and we tend to try and do things on our own only to find out that maybe it gets worse you know and then we um, and then we backtrack and then we start praying we start reading God's word we start uh, asking him for wisdom asking him for help when we should have started uh with that in the first place um, I'm guilty of it and uh, sometimes when you look back you know you tell yourself man I could have saved myself a whole lot of grief and heartache if I started with that from the very beginning uh, and that's what God wants us is to trust him to uh, rely on his promises uh, and just to know that things uh, will go well uh, according to his plan our plan um, not very good but God's plan if we understand what he wants for us um, and if things don't turn out the way we want it to turn out and we continually seeking God and praying and um, you know then we have peace with whatever comes out whatever happens happens um, and we can have peace in that if we continually to seek God, <clears throat> pray, um, seek His Word, uh, seek His wisdom. Uh, then we can uh, we can have peace in what we decide and what we're going through and what we're doing. And just say, hey God, it's in your hands. Uh, I'll lord it over to you. I'm done trying it on myself. And I just trust you and I just... Whatever happens, I'm going to do my due diligence according to what you want for me and um, and just move forward. Um, and that was the same with the believers in Thessalonica. Uh, Paul's first letter to them in chapter 5, um, verse 16. You know, there was being persecuted as believing in Christ. Uh, and that was the number one issue. <clears throat> Plus, what was going on in the church? Um, but Paul had written to them and and told them how to how to carry themselves as believers and how to trust Christ and 
and in uh, chapter 5 um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 Paul says rejoice always uh, rejoice in the fact that you know Christ died for us for our sins you know he was buried he conquered death on our behalf and that we put our trust and faith in him we believe in him rejoice always that we know we're going to go where we're going to end up after this life. And that's in eternal life with Him. <clears throat> that's one most important thing that we can rejoice always. That Jesus, someone took the time, loved me so much that sacrificed His life for my life. Um, and that's something to rejoice about. Uh, and then He says pray without ceasing. Always pray. And we just talked about it, that that's probably one of the most, if not most important thing we communicate with God, is through prayer. Uh, if you look at all the people in the Bible, um, most of the people in the Bible, how they continually pray to God for direction, for healing, for peace, um, for wisdom. Uh, so praying without ceasing. And then he says, in everything, in all circumstances, give thanks. Um, it's a hard thing to do is giving thanks when you financially strapped or you're sick or relationships go south. Uh, how can you give thanks when something that means so much to you is not working out? <clears throat> it's hard to do. Uh, but when you really look at the big picture... What God has blessed me with, um, healthy children, healthy grandchildren, <clears throat> awesome wife, family members, you know, where we at, what we have, uh, there's a lot of things to be thankful for, even in the bad circumstances we're going through. Uh, there's always something you can look back, and God can always show you stuff that you can be thankful for, uh, and he says that's... His will for us in His Son, in Christ Jesus. Uh, if we trust Christ, if our faith, we put our faith in Christ, in Him, then in Him, uh, we can do all those things God just reminded us of. We can pray in Him without ceasing. We can give thanks in all circumstances in Christ. Uh, we can rejoice always. In Christ, it's got to be in Him. If we try and do it on our own, it's it's not going to work out, and um, we end up spinning our wheels. Um, I've learned that this past weekend that um, you know there's a lot of time to pray, even when you go about your day, working and and going about your business. There is still a lot of time to pray. <clears throat> a lot of time to be thankful, a lot of time to rejoice, uh, even in your daily, whatever your schedule may be. Uh, so I hope as we start this week, you continue that or improve on it like myself. Um, and just thank God that um, you have the ability to walk out of your house today. You have a job. Um, you, you have family. Uh, church family uh, and just praise him give thanks to him pray without ceasing um, and rejoice always so I hope you guys have a safe week be blessed I will